My name is Yoji Tomioka. I'm a 24-year-old office worker. I'm currently having a meeting with Hikari Tano, my boss. Oh, I wasn't watching the time. We should take a break for lunch. Sounds great. Do you want to eat with me? I found a great place where they serve amazing spare ribs. It's on me. I love spare ribs. But unfortunately, I have to meet someone. Oh, yeah? Hey, there you are, Yoji. We're at work. Call me by my last name, Utako. But you just called me by my first name. Oh, uh, her name is Utako Kiryu. We've known each other since forever and went to school together. We even went to the same university. And now we work in different departments at the same company. Tano-san, it's good to see you. Oh, hi. So this is who you are planning to meet. Why is she smirking like that? Here, Yoji. I brought you this obento. You have to tell me if you like it. Hey, office hours! Use last names! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What's this? Wifey made an obento. You guys are so in love. We're, We're not, not in love, love with, with each, each other. other! Oh my, you guys are totally in sync. I'm just stating facts. You made an obento for him. You're basically married. We We're are not, not married. married! Only couples who've been together for a long time harmonize like that. Stop it! I only make him food so he can give me feedback on new recipes. She's right. Utako uses me for her convenience. That's what she does. Utako wants this. Utako wants that. I've had to deal with it my whole life. What's the problem? You have no life anyway. I have no life because I have to be on standby for you all the time. It's not easy being somebody's errand boy. Oh, come on. I know you had fun at the party we went to the other day. Yeah, but... I knew you would like it. I know everything you like. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, I guess. You're welcome. You know, I have a feeling. You guys were married in your previous life. We were, we're not, not married! married! See? Perfect synchronization. <sighs> I'm jealous. I wish my boyfriend and I got along as well as you do with Tomioka-kun. You can't make a childhood friend once you're an adult, Tano-san. <sighs> you don't get it. Hey, Tano-san, why the long face? I got front row seats to the lovebirds in denial show. Ah, uh, that must have been tough. What are they talking about? It wasn't just Tano-san. Every single person at the office treated Utako and me like a married couple. I guess it can't be helped since we're always together. So one day... Yes! Finally done! And finally time to go. I'll go home and spend a relaxing evening. Tommy. Okaku. Whoa, Tano-san! Can you please not creep up on me? You sound like a ghost. Let's go out for some drinks. I'll buy. Huh? When my boss wants to go out for drinks, there's no way of getting out of it. We went to an izakaya. Ah, uh, can I get another beer? You're going way too fast. Come to think of it, she hasn't been herself today. Is something bothering you, Tano-san? Yes, I'm upset. Take a look at this! What are these? Business cards? Wow, they're all so flashy. I didn't know you could make cards so pretty. I hope I'll see you soon. I'll give you the time of your life. Huh? Wait a minute. Are these... A hostess bar? No, <gasps> body rubs parlors. Body rub parlors? Yes, I found out my boyfriend was a regular customer. Yikes! Now I understand why you want to get drunk so bad! I can't believe this is happening to me! I stole all of them so I could curse the girl! But then I realized that they weren't the ones at fault. Gosh, this is a nightmare! I hate my life! So... what did you say to him? I broke up with him, duh! Excuse me, can I get a beer over here? Not in the glass, get me a pitcher! Hey, hey, Tano-san, take it easy! This must be so hard for her. Tano-san cried and yelled, and cried and yelled. It was far from fun. Two hours later, I was carrying a wasted Tano-san on my back to find her a cab to ride home. Ugh, damn it! He deserves to run to hell, covered in filches. 
Where do you want to go next? No way. You're going home right now. Excuse me. Can you take her home? Tano-san, can I have your address? Boykomi Village is the land of the ever pee. Oh my gosh, get a hold of yourself! We somehow got Tano-san to say her address, and I was finally free from the mess. That was just... <sighs> I didn't get to drink much since she was blabbering on the whole time. Maybe I'll get some ramen on my way home. Yoji. Whoa! You scared me! Utako, what are you doing here? I was eating dinner with a friend. Hmm. Something about her seems different. What were you doing with Tano-san? We went out for drinks. I see. Well, you guys seem pretty close. Like she was literally on you. Oh, you saw? I had to carry her because she was wasted. Well, you never carry me anymore. Yeah, I know. We're not little kids anymore. <laughs> what? Are you crying because you want me to carry you? Kind of, but kind of not. What were you doing with Tano-san? Oh, okay, okay, stop pressuring me. I'll explain everything. Utako and I both lived alone, although it wasn't planned. We live in the same neighborhood. We take the same street to go home. I shared what Tano-san told me about her boyfriend while we walked home. What the heck? He's scum! How could he go to a body rub parlors when he has such a pretty girlfriend? I can't believe he's a regular customer. She was right to end things with him. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I don't understand it. He had a girlfriend. Why go and risk his relationship with Tano-san? So, anyway, Yoji, have you ever been inside a body rub parlor? No way. I'm not interested at all. Really? Why would I lie? It doesn't benefit me. I think physical intimacy should only be shared between loved ones. I see. <laughs> You're right. Why does she look so content? Eh, it doesn't matter. Everything feels better when she's in a good mood. Hey, is that your stomach growling? I was busy taking care of Tano-san. I barely ate anything. I see. Let's eat together at your place. Now? Yes, is that okay? You gave Tano-san your time. When is it going to be my turn? She's acting sweet today. I could get used to this. Fine. Let's go to the kombini. Yay! And so, I brought Utako over to my place. She doesn't come over often, and it felt nice to have some company. Oh, yeah. Did you hear? Nakajima-san got married. Wow. Who's the lucky guy? Don't freak out. It's Mr. Hara. Mr. Hara? You mean our teacher? Yeah! Isn't that crazy? Oh, gosh. Was she dating him in high school? Ew, I hope not. Ugh, talking about my former classmates makes me drink more than usual. This is fun, but we have work tomorrow. We should get some rest. Hey, let's start cleaning up. Why? You're drunk already. We have to stop before you pass out. You can carry me home, Yoji. I'll probably drop you halfway there. That's cruel! I'm just kidding. It's just... I think I'm a bit too drunk. I shouldn't carry you. You could get hurt. You're such a meanie. I almost forgot. You paid for the alcohol and snacks at the convenience store, Yoji. How much did it cost? I'll pay for half. The receipt is inside my bag over there. Can you get it? Sure. Huh? Utako? What's up? Is it not in there? Um... Hey, what is this? That's... a card from a body rub parlor? Why was that in my bag? I thought... you said you weren't interested in places like these. But... 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 That's... jeez! Her eyes are terrifying! So, would you like to explain? I would love to, but I don't understand it either! It's not mine, I promise! But it says, Yoji-kun, I had so much fun. What? No, that's crazy! Oh my gosh, it does! I'm glad you had so much fun! Good for you! Why won't you believe me? Uh, oh no! I'm too drunk! I can't think! Whatever, I'm going home. Hey, Utako, let, let me walk with- No thank you! Leave me alone! The next day, I woke up and headed to work with a full-on hangover. Ugh, I feel sick. I have no idea how, but-
but I'm pretty sure the card Utako found fell into my bag while I was listening to Tano-san talk. Why was my name written on the card, though? I hope I get a chance to explain everything to Utako. Yo, Utako? Last name at the office, remember, Tomioka-kun? Uh, uh, you're right. I'm sorry. Well, I'm busy. See you around. Hold on, Utako! Uh, Kiryu-san! Utako avoided me the whole morning. She left every room I entered. She wasn't going to give me a chance. During lunch break... Ah, uh, what am I supposed to do? Tomioka-kun! Uh, Tano-san? How are you feeling? Did you get home okay? Yep, yeah, thank you for that. So, uh, did you and Kiryu-san get divorced? Everyone is worried about you guys. Again, we aren't a married couple, but I think she hates my guts now. How will I get Utako to listen to what I have to say? I see. Well, a relationship is never easy. I mean, I never expected to break up with Yoji over something like that. Yoji? Yep, that's my ex's name. So that's why my name was on the card. Hey, let's play in a Gokan. Huh? A new love. That's what we both need right now. It's the best way to forget about the bitter past. Let's do it! Tomioka-kun, do you want a girlfriend? A girlfriend? I guess it could be good for me, but... Tano-san, I'm sorry, I... You can't! What?! Kiyu-san? I can deal with body rub parlors. I'll try my best to understand why you did it, Yoji. But you can't have a girlfriend. You can't! You just can't! Wait, what? Uh, the, hold on, Utako! I don't understand why you're freaking out! Can you please tell us what you mean? Well, I mean... I meant... Ah, oh, I get it. You guys are a married couple. That's why. Stop saying that! We're not married! Wait, huh? No synchronization? <laughs> are you crying? I think you guys should talk. You can use one of those meeting rooms. Okay. Hey. Utako, please don't cry. I'm not crying. Uh, it's pretty obvious she is crying. Hey, you remember Tano-san's boyfriend? That was one of his cards. It must have fallen into my bag. His name is Yoji. I know, it's crazy, but Tano-san's boyfriend and I have the same name. Really? You can ask Tano-san. Utako, have I ever lied to you before? My birthday, when we were in third grade... You said you would buy me cake, but you didn't. Yes, I did! I swear I did! I didn't have enough money for a cake. That's why I bought you a cream puff. Utako, you said you liked it. Yeah. Anything you gave me made me happy, Yoji. Back then, I thought you would always be by my side. I guess I took you for granted. Huh? Why the sudden change in conversation? Listen, I always thought I was okay with us being just childhood friends. But I'm not! I think I was scared! Thinking about taking the next step was terrifying. Utako... I mean, once I told you how I felt, our friendship would change forever. Um... What? What did you- Yoji, I like you. Huh? I like you! I want to be your girlfriend! People call us a married couple, but I want to fall in love with you, Yoji. Uh... You... My girlfriend? Are you going to say no? Well, uh... Utako is my childhood friend. Nothing more. Or was I fooling myself? I want you to be my girlfriend too, Utako. I think... You think? My bad. That came out wrong. This is all so sudden. My thoughts are all over the place right now. But... But one thing I know... Is that I want to be by your side forever. Yoji... Can I be the one to ask? We've been friends forever. Now, will you be my girlfriend? Yes! And so, we officially started dating. Oh, and Utako and I got married the following year. Tano-san congratulated us in her own way. If I remember right, she said, it Took you long enough! I heard Tano-san found a new boyfriend. I'm glad! I hope her new boyfriend isn't a creep like her previous one. So, Yoji, I know I asked you before. But, would you ever want to go to one of those places? Huh? I told you, never! Why? Do you have to ask? Uh... Why? 
Ah, jeez, you're adorable. The only person I want to be physically intimate with is you, Utako. That's what you wanted to hear, right? Words aren't enough for me. You have to prove it. Okay, okay. Come here, my precious wifey.